everyone else, everyone in the world is saying, peace and safety, oh, Jesus is not coming back. And some people obviously don't even believe, obviously don't even believe and put their Everything's, everybody, everything's going well. Everything's going fine. Everything's going prepared. Even folks in the church say, oh, everything's fine. I, I can keep living the way I'm living. I can keep doing the way I'm doing. I can keep acting the way I'm acting. Everything's fine. I'm peace. I'm cool. I got all my needs met. I don't have, I don't have any wants. There's no want in my life. Got good health, good mind. I'm cool. I don't have to do anything. If Jesus comes back, I'll be ready when he comes. I'll, I'll make sure that, you know, things together then. Then all of a sudden, Jesus comes and what happens? Sudden destruction. Suddenly. Suddenly. Boom. Out of nowhere. It hits you. Coming from your blind side. You didn't see it coming. Although, you had the warning, didn't you? Although you had the preparation, you didn't see it coming. Because why? Because you didn't listen. And the idea here is, is that you need to listen. Listening means just, a, oh yeah, I hear you. And you nod your head. I do that sometimes, and I'm really, I'm trying to get better at it. But the idea for listening here means hearing what he's saying and then acting upon it. It's just not, I hear you, and you nod your head, and you go about your own way. It's that you listen, and you hear, and then you do what you know you're supposed to do. That's real listening. You take the instruction and you act upon the instruction. That's called obedience. That's what Jesus says. That's what God says. That's what the scripture says. It took, you listen and then you act and do what he tells you to do. So what's he say in this case? What's he telling you to do? He's telling you that he's going to return, isn't he? Doesn't he? He says that. He's going to come at a time and a moment when you don't expect it. But then what? He's telling you to be what? Be prepared for when he comes. That means that your lifestyle and the way you're living exemplifies and shows who you are as a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. Who Jesus is looking for. Are you perfect? No, I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is, is that you're doing the best that you can by God's grace to live a holy and righteous life. So that you're ready and prepared for when Jesus comes. None of them are perfect. Nobody is perfect. The only person that was perfect was Jesus. But you're making an effort to live a life that is righteous and holy before God.